Hey all, welcome to the Bro Billionaire and uh, this is the continuation of the Fibonacci analysis where we left yesterday. I'm going to keep it very short. The reason why I'm making the small videos on Fibonacci is it is very easy for me to record the video, but to understand that when you record the video on higher time frame, most of you, I mean, I'm talking about the learners or, or newcomers, you will still have the uh, fear factor. All right, so it's recording. It, it's like any other chart here, right? Even in recording shows the same chart. There's no point in recording. But however, when you follow uh, post-market analysis and see how the levels worked. So this is a level since last three days we are working. And uh, if we focus on this and understand the methodology I'm trying to share, you will have more confidence and you can uh, build a solid foundation and take it from there and build your own strategies. All right, this is the Fibonacci series and uh, what are the three important levels I had told you? The three important levels, zero, 100% retracement or extension, 61.8 and 38.2. So we have four, sorry, I keep telling three. So 0, 100%, 38.2 and 61.8. Now yesterday, if you see, this is the chart I was sharing. This was the swing, A, B, C. C level, it took support at 61.8, went up. So I'd inform that if it breaks 100%, because it is above, 23.6%, uh, I was confident that it's going to break, break and it's going to hit one of these level. I was confident this level will be tested, uh, the golden ratio 1.618, because this was also the golden ratio 61.8 on the higher swing. Both are, what do you call, confluencing. So I, Honestly, this was my anticipation because after a sharp fall, we had a decent uh, bullish candle. However, that is how the market works. Nothing works 100%. And here comes one of the methodology where most of the traders use. So what they use here is at 0 0.23, uh, you know, if the market is taking support, if it is a bullish candle, you now this is a bearish candle, they will take a trade here keeping the stop loss as 38.2. Now below 38.2 means market has continues, continuing the ongoing trend from the top. Now this is a swing, remember, this swing is downside and this is a pullback. The pullback is at 38.2 resistance. Now this 38.2 resistance, if it had taken a upside, then it would have gone till golden ratio. This is again a resistance. Remember, this is the biggest, bigger trend the the fall from the top and this is retracement of the fall so the retracement is at 38.2 whenever the retracement is at 38.2 of the bigger swing means it is still in the same trend continuity now this is key now since it did not break the 38.2 retracement of the fall the bigger swing so we were still in bearish level. So I thought today it will be a gap up. Gap up did not happen. What happened? It have, it was a gap down. Where did the gap down happen? The gap down was below this swings 61.8 golden ratio. Yesterday, remember, it took support here and this support was broken with the gap down. And after the gap down, in the second hour, it also broke the 100% retracement. A, B, C, this 100%. This swing 100% was broken. And what was the levels I said? If the 100% is broken, 1.13, 1.27, 1.414, 1 1.618. These are the targets you need to watch out to hit. So momentum was very strong. It almost came and hit. 1.618 golden ratio. Now, what will happen on Monday? So if you watch the daily time frame, I'm sorry, this is all cluttered. Let me remove everything. 
So we are outside the range. Let me take you to daily time frame. I use Bollinger Band to measure the strong momentum along with RSI and uh, ADX. ADX is about 25, very strong momentum on the downside. And it is at the lower Bollinger Band is pierced similar to here. The only thing is price has closed outside. And do we have any support here? I don't see a support, the support is here. 16,934. Anyway, so we have a strong momentum going on. Do we need to see the momentum? I mean, honestly, it's better to see the momentum. Which swing 100% is taken out now? This swing 100% is taken out. So 1.618 is hit. Remove this swing. Remove this swing because it did not go up. So remove these lines as well. So we need this one. This is the swing continuous. Now this swing 100% is taken downside, right? So draw a swing like this. I'll draw, where shall I draw? Okay, I'll draw next to it so that you don't forget. What is the level it's going to hit? Suppose on Monday, if the downtrend continues, 1.27 at 16,944. I'm going to mark these levels for you. Remember 1.618 of the current swing was not hit. There's still some steam left. So the momentum continues. We have a very strong momentum. These are the targets you need to see. Right. So, and mind it, guys. I'm a hundred percent pivot follower, and uh, I have. I, I mean, other than these uh, Elliott waves, gun, and uh, wolf waves or neo waves, the fractals. Uh, most of the technical analysis I know, and um, I have mastered them. And after testing everything, I am. I use only pivots, both floor pivots and Cambrilla pivots for trading because they are much simple because uh, uh, not that does not mean that I'm contradicting the Fibonacci learning. Fibonacci is again similar to pivots is a leading indicator. But since I'm a, a working professional, I get uh, I hardly get few minutes to trade, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes before I start my work. And within that, I will not have enough time to draw the swings and uh, measure the goals or the retracement. So I'll just go with pivots and even they work like charm. And if you want to learn, I have I have tagged all the videos here and I do daily analysis. Everything is for learning purpose. If you watch the videos, uh, your trading experience will be enriched. You can spot the trades of price action pivots. And also I have shared the a secret triple EMA methodology, which I use, uh, uh, I'm using for last two years. The reason I'm using it is just whenever I come uh, from my work, if I have some time to spot a trade quickly and scalp it. So you can watch all those things, but for now, uh, the Fibonacci has broken downside. And as you saw, it has hit one point, almost 1.618 golden ratio. So the levels which I said, it's working 100%. Earlier 61 point golden ratio was the, uh, what do you call? All right, earlier 61 point, eight golden ratio was the support. The moment support was broken, and 100% retracement was broken, market went towards 1.618 target. Now there are a lot of different Fibonacci levels. The Fibonacci extension goes below this, below this as well. But what I'm talking is for me, this swing job is done. Shift to this swing. So that's the reason I'm removing this swing. I'm keeping only this swing so that Monday we can see how the market can, sorry. Function. So if market goes down, you have the ready-made levels, 1.272, 1 1.414, 1 1.618, all right? So if it retraces, <coughs> this is a new swing. Remember, A, B, we don't know the C. 
I'm keeping this as well. Say if Monday market for some reason comes back because you need to understand price has closed way outside Bollinger Band. There's all possibility there might be a gap down and a small doji like this still outside and then market might come down. But what happened here? Price closes outside price comes inside the Bollinger Band and then continues its ongoing trend. So keeping that in mind, so you have, suppose if it goes up, these are the retracement level. So the earlier support is again, closer to this 61.8. You need to understand I, I, I'm leaving this as it is. So here you need to anticipate a strong resistance. So Fibonacci captures market moves, not only market moves and also the previous history of resistance. See, this was a resistance yesterday, sorry, support. And if it goes back, the support is broken, the same area will act as a resistance. So you have the levels for downside, you have the levels for upside. If you want, you can see the levels this side so that you are clear. The swing starts from here, A, B. If there a retracement comes, you need to watch out. So what is the key? If we have a very strong downtrend momentum, this 100% is again coinciding with 38.2. It should not cross 38.2. Market should face resistance here and break 100% and go and hit these targets. If it goes about 38.2, you should face a resistance near 61.8. If 61.8 is taken out, then it will go towards 100%, which is the previous resistance. So if this 100% is broken, then these are the targets upside. Clear? Thank you, team. Hope this is helping you. I mean, please do comment if you, if you really uh, need more information. Please do uh, I mean, your feedback so that I can, uh, you know, uh, go ahead and provide you more information. I'm trying to keep the video very short. Today, although I spoke a little more, I mean, that was in the interest of sharing the knowledge. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Have a great weekend.